Hi, I'm Chris Merwindos, and hey, you can do this. So I'm working on a bunch of things heading into the new year. As you know, I'm going to try to uh, do console H by 2026. And I've got some stuff coming along that is part of that. Uh, this isn't. This is actually a request that uh, somebody was extremely fierce that they wanted this particular thing. And so here you go because this is Airwindows Purist Dual Pan. So I don't actually use dual pans. I'm given to understand it's a Pro Tools thing, and people who like it seem to be very excited about it. I generally think of things in terms of stereo or panned mono or whatever. More and more I'm thinking of things in terms of stereo, and maybe that's where this will find its place. It's exactly the same thing as classic purist gain with a couple of tweaks to it. For instance, it's got a funny little taper for the volume level, which is at, you can see here, it's a volume level of 0.5 for unity gain. You can turn it up some, you can turn it down, and then our pans go from side to side like this. And they're using the same pan law as my current uh, console versions should be about the same, I think, as uh, console X and console 9 before them. And what might you do with this sort of thing? Well, supposing you have, say, a drum like this. Well, here's your right drum. And supposing you want that hat to be more towards the center. Well, you can bring it right over or even reverse it. Then by the same token, maybe this needs to be brought in a little bit as well. And you end up with a slightly narrow version. Turn it off and it's a little bit wider. Bring it in and you can dial stuff in pretty much as much as you like but there's still going to be some stereo effect. Or maybe you want to have everything sitting more like the um, stereo width of it needs to be brought over, but rather than just rebalancing pan, maybe you want to take one of the channels and move that channel over to where you want it. So you could do that like this. Let's say things are working okay, except for that you want that hat to be in the center. You can have the hat sitting more in the center, while uh, left channel stuff is still fully to the side. And of course, you can make it be fully mono, or just slightly wider. And that that is basically the deal for that one. That is not really very complicated. Point being, it is a dual pan with a couple of little tweaks like the taper that I have on the volume levels. But um, essentially, it's just that very basic thing. And using the dithering to floating point code that I use in Purest Gain. And it seems kind of funny to me because literally all of my plugins use that. That's also where I get random variables without calling rand in code, which is bad, particularly on Linux, because if you call a proper random function on a sufficiently advanced operating system, it will just stop until it's found something that's truly random. So you can't really do that in audio code. All in all, here's hoping this is going to be kind of handy. And... What I've been working on besides that is all manner of things. Like I dug up in the process of going and finding a record that I'm going to use for this week's bonus thing for $10 patrons. I found these, which reminded me that back in the day, I was working on figuring out chord progressions that operated on the basis of the circle of fifths 
and I was finding different ways of arranging and orienting them. And I have this, which is some kind of note that I had for, I don't even remember what this was back in the day, other than I'm pretty sure it was for running that, which is the modular synthesizer thing, the top case of which has been converted over to a uh, performance mode, which will do some of the same things that I was doing on the Welcome to Free Luna album. Yep, I'd like to get back into recording new stuff again. And all of this stuff, on top of that, I still have Console H and Console X2 in the works. Got a new compressor that's coming out based on stuff I did to advance those. And I'm making a video game. But more on that later. For now, I am just going to get back to work on all of these things. If you like purist, if you like dual pans, I hope you enjoy purist dual pan. It should do the thing that it's meant to do. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.